Hey guys, uh, we're here at Harvey Bay this weekend for Sunshine State Series. First big race of the year, pretty pumped. Um, just getting ready for qualifying now. We are very hot today, so we got him behind Michaela here. Got an ice bath and stuff sorted for later on. Um, just doing a bit of goggle prep. So, got new goggle sponsor announcement, FMF, jumped on board. Um, massive thank you to those guys. Obviously, they're new to the goggle industry. Um, pretty pumped on them though, they look cool. This weekend's roll-off only, so we've got the roll-off system set up. Keen to get out there, the track looks fun. Um, put down a good qualifying, I think it's one lap, then we do seven minutes of qualifying. So the gates here are pretty, like, pretty easy really. Like it doesn't really matter where you go, you can still get a good start. But I think I just like to get a good qualifying just to know that I'm going fast sort of thing. Um, so we'll, we'll head out now and let us know how we go. Clean me out like so hard. First lap, my hands. Okay, it's alright. Oh, can you hold that for a sec? I just want to wipe the bike a bit. Are you good? Do you want some water? No, I'll be alright. Okay. I need a new glove. Right. Good now? Yeah. Like the, all this hurts, yeah, but it's fine. Like, but that's like but my thumb swollen. Together, like this. See how that already? You can see that. Uh, yeah. Just get some ice gel because otherwise you're gonna get it. Yeah. Lucky your sister's an earth, babe. Yeah. You knew she'd come in handy one Getting ready for Moto 1, just got the bike all cleaned up, um, got everything that was tweaked all sorted. Um, keen to go out there, thanks to Sean helping get the bike sorted and stuff after a bit of a crash, but we should be all sweet, good to go. Um, hands feeling a little bit tight, but I think it's gonna, it'll be enough to hold on. I'll just tough it out and it'll be sweet. Yeah, two 
much. Bloody. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what was going on. You're right and bloody good for that then. I made so many mistakes because I like just overshoot the corner because I'm like, oh, it's going to slow down. It doesn't slow down. I'm like, oh. It'd like go away and then I'd sort of get some back. But, like, what did I get? Yeah. I think I What are you doing with it? Just speed up the rebound a little bit. Because the bumps are all so close together and like steep. Alright, so Moto 1 update. Uh, spun really bad off the gate. I tried some super high start blocks um, to try to really get my weight down into the bike, but I think I went a bit too extreme with it. Uh, so I'm going to go back to some normal size start blocks. This one helped me get out of the gate a bit better. See if that works. Um, after that, I sort of did all right. Made some passes, come through the pack pretty good. And then I just I, my, started to feel my clutch fading from about five, ten minutes into the race. And by the time it got halfway through, it was just the clutch was pretty well gone. Um, and then it was just like a lot of the corners are real square today. It's like sort of runs in, then it squares up. And to get out of that square corner, I feel like I need to blip the clutch a little bit, give it a bit of a hit, but obviously I didn't have it there to do that. I was sort of starting making some mistakes, but all in all, salvaged it, um, felt pretty good, and got fifth in that moto, so um, good start. Now just for the next one, I had a bit of an ice bath then, as you saw, so feeling fresh. I'm just gonna get geared up again now and go out for the second moto, get a better start and sprint, because it's only about a 10 minute moto, so see how we go on this one. a six star and then you just blew wide it's like you smoked that corner a bit too much yeah because I, I heard someone on the outside of me so i just didn't back off <laughs> oh, it's it's hot, thank you yeah I, I, then i saw his front guard and i gave it another handful in the middle of the corner yeah i seen you nearly out in the dust i was like oh man but still you did well like get out of that freaking pile up and shit that first lap was solid like you don't often do that that first lap and a half
That was a bit of a bummer. No excuses that time. Yeah. That was just That me. last bit was good. Huh? That last bit was good, but... That race was good and frustrating. Yeah. It's good because, yeah, again, there's just no excuses. I got the whole shot. I was up front, like, the bike worked good. It was just, and it I just wasn't good, good enough. Yeah. yeah. It's kicking around a bit, but the track is just that rough. Yeah. And I think, like, it works better when I'm not as tired either. Like, yeah. when I'm working the bike and working the bumps. Uh, yeah, you sort of I like... felt pretty good, like, in behind Todd. And then when I made that mistake and... Gibbsy got me. Is that what happened? It's sort of I, I fell that. apart. Yeah. In <laughs> our pro MX1, in third place, the 81 of Joel Evans. Woohoo! All right, guys, day's all wrapped up. Back here at my grandma's place. Um, all in all, pretty good day. Um, so, quick recap on the last moto. I pulled the whole shot, which is sweet. Um, led for, I think, half a lap or most of the first lap. Um, then Todd got me. And stayed there for a little bit, sort of stayed on him. And then I made a big mistake, started to get tired. Um, Gibbsy got me, I sort of just dropped, 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 and ended up fifth. So a little bit of a bummer at that one, um, but it was cool to get up front and lead. A um, few things to take away from the day was I'm just, I'm simply not fit enough yet, um, which was a bit of news to me, really. I thought I was a lot fitter than I am. Um, just leading up to it, I've been doing longer motos, feeling pretty solid, but on a proper rough track at race pace, it's just a whole different story. Um, and because I'm so like I'm a little guy on the big bike, I've really got to put in a lot of effort, try to push the bike into the ground, and um, to be able to run up front and run that pace, it takes way more effort, sort of deal. So um, now I guess I pretty well just got to go home and go to work. I've been spending heaps of time. With everything else I've got going on with the YouTube, the coaching, my pit board stuff, um, and sort of a bit of a kick up the bum just to be like, no, nah, you've got to prioritize riding right now because that is my whole goal is to be at the top. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll still make time for everything else. Uh, it's just I've got to prioritize my time a little bit better to make it happen. But thanks for heaps for watching, guys. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go back to work and get back after it.